Hey YouTube, Metropolites, what's up? Konnichiwa, as I do. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick update. I've been in my new office a week now, and I've got to say it's not as bad as I thought. The travelling is like, it's 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back, but, yeah, obviously. But, you know, compared to a lot of people, that's not much, is it, let's be honest. And it goes quite quick. It's just the petrol means a bit much, a bit more, but... Main thing is leaving my old office, leaving all my friends like Steve and everyone behind. I haven't found anybody to talk to video games about yet in my new office. But yeah, it, the first week it went well. And um, I'm actually recording this using a new stand I bought off eBay. It's like this little, I'll have to show you one day. Like this little, kind of like an S-shape kind of stand. That's not an S-shape, shut my, kind of half an S-shape, kind of half a Z-shape. Stan's got like a sticky patch and it, literally any metallic surface like an iPad or your phone will stick to it. So that's awesome. I can use that when I'm recording my videos now, the high score challenge, vlogs, whatever. Chat with Matt. Anyway guys, I thought, well first, I'd like to say I'm going to Cardiff Comic Con in two weeks now, two weeks today. My cousin's coming down for it, so I might record something when I'm there. That'd be quite interesting, but I can't promise that, but we shall see. And while I'm here, I thought I'd do five random non-gaming facts about myself. Because I've done the gaming, and a lot of people have done gaming and non-gaming, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm going to stop rambling now and get on with it. Right. So, fact number one about myself. I don't drink tea, coffee, or alcohol. Yeah. Um, basically, when I tell people this, the reaction I get is, What is wrong with you? And I'm like, mm. you know, but with tea and coffee, I just, I'm not a fan of hot drinks. And when I was a kid growing up, I just, tea was really tasteless to me. I just, I don't know. And coffee was always too strong. I just didn't like it. I like coffee chocolates. I think they're amazing. Lovely and tasty. But um, yeah, so I didn't get on with tea and coffee. The only hot drink I will drink is um, hot chocolate in winter, but not very often. So most of the time I drink soft drinks like squash or diet coke uh, water and with alcohol yeah i used to drink i used to drink um strongbow several years ago but then after one bad experience i was ill for like for a few, a few days it wasn't that bad it's just a really bad hangover and i couldn't walk and oh i felt terrible i went to work the next day and i had to go home ill but that was due to another illness honestly yeah so um Getting like that, it really put me off. I hated the feeling. So I tried drinking again after, but I just couldn't get on with it after. I thought, no, that's not for me. So yeah, I'm usually designated driver when uh, on nights out with friends. I don't mind so much. It's not too bad. Cheap night. So, yeah. Uh, does that count as one fact or three? Oh, okay. Anyway, so my second random fact. Yeah, you know, I found it hard to think of these is crazy i know i have a bad habit of switching off when i talk to people what i tend to do i will ask somebody a question but something like a switch like a ding and i will turn off for the answer and i have no idea what the person's just said it's not all the time but um yeah i've got to ask them later on or like the next few days what was that you said what did you say oh, it's so embarrassing i don't know i don't mean to do it sometimes i do it in the middle of the conversation and i know i'm so I never mean to offend anybody. It just happens, okay? So, fact number three. I thought I'd tell you about my most embarrassing moment in my life. Should I tell you about this? I've already said it in a high school recap a while back. But um, basically, <coughs> I was flying back from Florida once. Uh, that'd be about 10 years ago now. 10, 11 years ago. And um, I really hate long haul flights. I'm not scared of flying. I just get so bored. I'm sick of them. And I the the last fight I had before this one, um, the plane food was absolutely disgusting. So I told myself I can go nine hours now without any food, just a bit of drink, and that was it. But no, it didn't exactly work. Getting close towards the end, we had like an hour left of flight. I started feeling really, really sick. And um, I was going to throw up. And so, fortunately, I was right next to the toilets. Unfortunately, they were blocked. So I had to run down 
the other end of the aircraft to try and make it to the toilets, but I didn't make it and I was sick over some guy's arm. Yeah. It wasn't sick sick, it was just like water and bile and stuff like that, but oh man, it was so embarrassing. Um, basically then, the cabin people, attendants, whatever you call them, got me like a sick bag and stuff. I, I didn't need to be sick and that's why, but I had to walk back at that aisle really slowly, my head just hanging down, I couldn't look at anybody. Ah, oh, this every I knew everyone was watching me. It was terrible. I was like, oh, I'm just sick over that guy. I didn't even I couldn't even speak to the guy. I couldn't look at him. I know I should have apologized, but I was like, oh no. This was following a twenty four hour uh, flight delay where we got sent to a hotel, and then our luggage was delayed four hours after this, and then there's another four hour like mini bus trip home, and all the time I was waiting to get my GCSE results. Yeah. So, oh, journey from hell, and I dreamt about being on that plane for, like, weeks afterwards. Oh, next time I flew, I was absolutely petrified, and I was sick before I got on the plane, but I'm fine now flying, absolutely fine. Dear me. Maybe I'll delete this, I don't know. Right, yeah. So, this is non-gaming, so I can't mention anything about video games, like I just did. But I'm also a big fan of anime. Um, I started with Naruto. I used just I you know I just bought it because it mentioned ninjas on the back of the DVD case, and I was into ninjas at the time. So yeah, I bought it. and I really got into it. I loved it. I got addicted to Naruto. I was obsessed with it. That was awesome. I, these days, I'm I'm I finished the first series. I haven't watched all of Naruto Shippuden. I'm just getting a bit bored now. I think it goes on a bit too much. But I've watched other animes such as Full Metal Alchemist, Death Note, yada yada. I can't think of them off the top of my head. I got Attack on Titan to start. But I also liked a lot of anime from the 60s such as Marine Boy, Prince Planet, Speed Racer. I like a few things from the 60s, it's strange. And I'm also uh, helping out with parts of like a story for a live action Marine Boy fan film that's uh, being filmed in Australia, so that's pretty cool. And uh, maintaining the Facebook page on that. So yeah, anime is a big love of mine. I just wish I had more time to watch it. Because a lot of my time is spent gaming and a lot of other things now. Right. Fact number five. Um, I'm a Christian. Uh, got baptised about, I think it was six years ago now maybe? Yeah, basically my best friend... Um, she was getting baptised at church one day, and for months and years, she'd be nagging me, oh, come to church, come to church, come to church. And I was like, no, I don't want to come to church. I'm fine where I am. But then she invited me to a baptism once, and seeing as I was her best friend, I thought, right, I'm not going to ignore, you know, because she's my best friend, I'll go and support her. So I did. And I surprised myself at the service there, the Sunday service. I really enjoyed it. And um, I went back the next week, and back again back in um heard god speaking to me in the sermon through the sermons and everything and everyone's just so nice and just a really strong community there so um yeah then i decided to become a christian give my life to the lord got baptized and i've been going to church ever since and on a thursday i work in a youth club at my local church yeah and a lot of the kids there, especially the boys, are into the video games and stuff like me. So uh, gone pretty well. Some good conversations there. So yeah, there you go. Maybe you didn't know some of those facts about me, but now you do. Right then, that's me done. I've uh, been out in the sun quite a bit today. We've had uh, some nice weather. I think I've caught it on my forehead. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I feel pretty tired. However, I'm going to go now. We're going to order an Indian in. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. Right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you soon. See you in the Tropolites.